Namaste, my lovely friends. It's so good to have you again here on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining the class of today. So this is a 40-45 minutes slow flow that will bring us a lot of energy and it will prepare us for a beautiful day ahead. We will start in a seated position. Currently I am sitting on a pillow, so make sure to make yourself comfortable. Relax your body, lengthen the spine. Close your eyes and allow yourself to arrive in this space and to bring awareness to your breath. Deep inhale and exhale. Keep focusing on your breath. Keep up focusing on what happens at this precise moment with yourself. Notice your breathing. Notice your body still finding its way to relax. And try to clear your mind from any thought. Now slowly, slowly take a deep inhale. And when you exhale, drop your head down over the right side. Inhale to lift it back up. Exhale down the left side. Inhale to rise back up and exhale down the right side, stretching the sides of the neck. Inhale to come back up and exhale down the left side. Bring your head back to center and start to twist it gently over the right shoulder. See if you can really keep the spine long. Now twist over the left side and keep gently moving your head from side to side. We start to bring more and more awareness into our physical body, connecting these gentle movements with our breathing. Now see if you can start taking half rotations, bringing your chin from one shoulder to the other, stretching the back of the neck. Maybe see if it's comfortable for you to start rotating the neck 30-60 degrees by also stretching, stretching the front of the neck, your throat. Keep rotating towards one side and rotate towards the opposite side. Then slowly come back to center. Take a deep inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Keep your hands in prayer and when you exhale, slowly bring your hands in front of your heart space. Inhale to create space, to create energy. Exhale, drop your hands to center in prayer. Again, inhale, lift the arms all the way up, look up towards your thumbs and exhale, slowly lower your hands. Good. Interlace the fingers of your hands. Bring your hands at the back of your head and start to inhale, opening the chest and exhale, slowly lowering down, tucking the chin under. Inhale to lift back up, open the chest. Exhale, lean forward, bring your elbows close to each other. We keep moving in this way, inhaling to open up. And exhale to lean forward, starting to create mobility around our spine. Again, inhale to create space. And exhale to lower. Now, 
Inhale to rise. Exhale to lower. And this time we're gonna stay here, gently pressing the head down towards the legs and moving the upper body from side to side as if we really want to feel all the muscles of our back stretching and finding space. And then inhale to open the chest and again do the same thing, gently move from side to side, feeling the upper body, creating more and more awareness and releasing any sort of tension. Bring your hands back on the knees and start to take rotations with your upper body by bringing the chest forward and down. Maybe creating a sort of arch curve to your back and then rotate towards the opposite direction. Feeling all the parts of your upper body moving and releasing. Now come back to center. Remove the pillow if you were sitting on a pillow. Open your legs nice and wide. Give them a little bit of a heat against the ground and massage gently your thighs, your calves, your ankles, your hips, your glutes. Then find a comfortable wide leg position. Drop the left arm down, inhale. And when you exhale, lower the right arm over the left side to feel the right side of the body lengthening. Keep breathing. You can drop your head down or you can bring it up. Whichever way feels good for you, notice on how the right side of the torso creates this space. Give a little bit of a rotation to your right wrist towards one side, towards the other side, while you keep relaxing your head. Then slowly push the floor away to lift back up and then exhale lower over the opposite direction. Again, relaxing the head, looking up and looking down, lengthening the left side of the torso. And then once again, rotating the wrist towards one side and rotating towards the other side. Keep breathing through the nose if you can. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, stay in the pose. Relax. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up again. Interlace your fingers. Press the palms of your hands up towards the sky and start to create small circles with your upper body. Moving from the hips and creating this sort of vortex that gets bigger and bigger, as if you want to really connect with all body parts. And then rotate towards the opposite direction, always creating these circles that are big, wide circles. And these circles get smaller and smaller and smaller. Inhale, release your fingers, twist your arms inward and pull your shoulders and arms as high as you can. Hold it here for three, two, and exhale to drop your arms back down on the ground. Nice. Come to the front of the mat. Lengthen your legs. We're going to start to bring some movement to our ankles by flexing and extending our ankle joints. Try and maintain a straight spine and just move one foot after the other one. Noticing the movement of your ankle and how your legs lengthen along with the movement. Try and do the same movement with your feet together, moving in synchronization up and down, up and down. Start moving your head as well, head up, head down, together with your feet, head up, feet up, head down, feet down, head up, feet up, head down, feet down, head up, feet up, head down, feet down. Last time. 
and then slowly releasing. Take a deep breath in, lift the arms up and exhale. Twist over the right side, bring your left arm forward and your right back. Inhale to lift. Exhale, open over the left side, right hand forward. Inhale to rise. <laughs> Hello, that's Noble, <laughs> amazing Noble. She's giving giving us a big help at home, and uh, yeah, I tried to tell her that we were that I was filming for for us guys, but yeah, eventually you will see her walking around, being curious about what what are what I'm preparing for you. Coming back to our flow, take a deep breath in, lift the arms all the way up and exhale slowly, lean forward into your Paschimottanasana seated fold. Now grab your feet or maybe if you have a strap, a belt, a kitchen towel next to you, you can also grab that, bring it around your feet and help yourself to flex those hips and to lean forward, maintaining a straight spine if you can. It doesn't matter how deep we go, I'm going quite deep here, you don't have to force the movement to go where I am. Close your eyes and see if you can listen to yourself by working on releasing the tension around the lower back and lengthening the hamstrings. Inhale to rise and exhale to lower, or maybe you just prefer to find stillness and just to feel the sensations into this beautiful seated position, wherever you are. Relax your head, breathe into the pose, and allow your body to create space. Maybe bring your hands around the lower back to massage it, to give yourself some love, to give yourself some attention. Breathe. Inhale, release, lift the arms up and exhale, drop your arms again along the body. We're gonna come for a spinal twist, right leg on top of the left. Inhale, lengthen the left arm and exhale, twist over the right side. Look over the right shoulder and breathe. Again, creating a nice and straight line with your spine and twisting, creating space around the chest and really, really like think even to, of twisting the abdomen as well. This twisting position are really, really good for digestion as well. So if you have any sort of problem, twists are something that I would highly recommend you. Try obviously not to do it uh, before, um, uh, sorry, after you had food. <laughs> That's the only thing. Let's go over the opposite side, the left leg on top of the right. Right arm pressing onto the left thigh and twisting to look behind. Breathing, breathing, breathing through the nose. When you exhale, maybe you manage to twist just a tiny little bit more. But again, don't force the movement. Listen to your body. And then slowly release, cross your legs. And come into a tabletop position to then drop your hips down on your heels to find a child pose. Relax your arms, relax your forehead on the ground if that's comfortable for you. Relax all your body parts into this beautiful, relaxing, restorative pose. Connect with your breath. Be gently shake your head from side to side. Massaging your forehead on the ground, on your mat. Maybe start to move your hips as well a little bit from side to side. Remind yourself of this beautiful intention of energizing the body, clearing the mind and focusing on the present moment. Come back into your tabletop. Let's take a few cat cow. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, push the floor away and look towards your navel. Inhale, open up the chest, arch your back. Exhale, push the floor away, create space between the shoulder blades, tuck your chin under. Inhale to rise up. 
exhale to curve your back inhale notice all vertebras allowing your spine to bend to flex to arch to find its freedom and then if it feels good move a little bit more like a in a freestyle cat cow close your eyes and just move freely maybe rotating the body maybe shaking your boot from side to side maybe rotating your head moving your neck moving your shoulders whatever feels good for you keep breathing and keep moving and start to tuck the right foot under and see if you can press the right heel down the ground to lengthen the back of the right leg specific attention to the right calf muscle maybe we can lift up the left knee off the ground see if we can hold it here and then exhale slowly release let's try over the left leg press the left heel down staying remember that you want to keep contracting your shoulders protracting them and pulling them up so that you don't drop them down basically you want to keep creating space between the shoulder blades and then slowly tuck both feet under and come and sit on your heels exactly <laughs> we're gonna give a nice uh, lengthen to the soles of our feet now grab the back sorry grab uh, your elbows around like back behind your head and give a little movement to your body from side to side again moving your head to the right to the left and then slowly releasing inhale swipe the arms all the way up keep them in prayer exhale drop your hands to your heart space we're still distracting the mind by moving the arms by focusing on the breath while at the same time we are releasing and stretching our soles the soles of our feet last time inhale lift the arms up and exhale down coming back into a tabletop position to give a little heat to your feet against the ground relax the soles of your feet now we're gonna come into a heart melting position so start to walk your hands forward gently drop the chest down you can either relax your forehead on the ground or if you can go a little bit deeper you will manage to drop the chest down and maybe to rest on your chin this is an amazing position to release tension around the shoulder blades shoulder joints and upper back keep breathing and stay few more breaths and then slowly lean forward drop the whole upper body down the ground to come into a sphinx position bring your elbows connected <laughs> hello noble uh, sorry guys i at least i advised you uh, bring your elbows in line with your shoulders and try and really open up the chest hold here breathe maybe start to take gentle rotations with your neck towards one direction towards the other one now we're focusing on the lower back and middle back into this beautiful sphinx pose and if it feels good you can also start to gently stretch the neck as well so now i'm dropping the head back and i'm stretching the throat but if it's too much you can just find stillness here no need to include this neck movement as well now dropping the head down and lengthening the whole back of the neck coming back up inhale 
and exhale slowly slowly drop the chest all the way down bring your hands by your chest inhale twist the body over the right foot exhale slowly come back down inhale twist over the left foot and exhale come back down again inhale twist over the right exhale come back down again doesn't matter how high we go here feel your spine moving and creating its mobility and flexibility now to center inhale to open up exhale to lower inhale to rise up <laughs> noble always here <laughs> oh sorry guys <laughs> she's so cute though Coming back into tabletop position, tucking the toes under, dropping the heels down, find your downward facing dog, bring your gaze towards your feet and allow yourself to move a little bit here if it feels good for you, maybe bending one knee at a time, maybe shaking again your booty from side to side and shake your hips, maybe you want to shake your head as well. This is your practice, the only thing I would like you to do is to feel yourself inhale now lift the right leg up exhale bend the knee open up the hip inhale lift the right leg back up exhale bend it a little bit more inhale up and exhale down Inhale, lift the right leg up and exhale, coming to a lizard position. Staying here and taking rotations with your hips towards one side. And then towards the other side. Keep rotating. Bring your left hand down the ground and twist the body over the right side, lifting the right arm all the way up. Twisting the body. And then slowly coming back down, tucking the left toes under and coming back in downward facing dog giving another movement to your legs from side to side lifting the left leg up inhale bend the knee open the hip inhale to lift it back up exhale bend again inhale lengthen the left leg and exhale bend again lift it all the way up and step it on the left edge of your mat find your lizard dropping the right knee down and starting to take these rotations with your hips towards one direction towards the other direction but really feeling your hip joints engaging our hips are a very delicate part of the body it's said that we tend to hold a lot of tension and there's a lot of trauma around this part of the body that might come from the past experiences so it's good to really dedicate some extra time on our hips twist the body over the left side lifting the left arm up and then slowly release come back into downward facing dog breathing here pressing gently the heels down the ground so that you can lengthen the back of your legs your muscles your spine gently walk your feet towards your hands relax your upper body completely grab your elbows with your hands and now gently rock the upper body from side to side maybe you want to shake your head as well saying yes and no in whichever way feels good Maybe you want to keep the knees slightly bent and that's fine. Focus on the sensations that you are feeling right now. Focus on what is good for you now. Drop your hands back down on the ground. 
Inhale, bring your hands to the knees, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Again, inhale to rise up, hands on the knees, straight spine. And exhale, folding. Inhale, looking forward. And exhale, coming down. Nice. Shaking a little bit the legs if it's needed. Now gently bend the right leg. Keep the right hand in between your feet and twist the body over the left side, raising the left arm and twisting, opening the body as much as you can. Dropping the left hand to center, bending the left leg and now twisting the body over the right side. Inhale and when you exhale, see if you can twist a little bit more. Take a deep breath in and exhale slowly release. Bend both knees and roll your back to come into standing position. Take another deep breath in, roll the shoulders up, down and back. Well done guys! Oof! I am sweating in here. <laughs> Sri Lanka is really really hot. <laughs> okay, let's come into something nice and fun. We go for a tree pose now. So start two. Grab the right foot and bring it to press on the inner left thigh. Keep your hands in prayer in front of the chest. And slowly, see if you can start to lift your arms all the way up. So it's important that we find our drishti here, our gaze. We focus on something right in front of us to find our balance. See if you can pull the shoulders up. Engage with the core. See if you can close one eye now. See if you can close both eyes. How is it going? Are you still finding the balance? I am struggling, guys. I tell you, it's really hard. <laughs> Take a deep breath in and then slowly release. Drop your hands back to center. Oof. Coming back, let's try the other leg. Bending now the left leg on the right inner thigh. And then again, hands in prayer in front of the chest. Find your drishti, your focus. Inhale, swipe the arms up in prayer. Hold, everything is engaged. Keep feel yourself grounded on this right foot. And again, let's come to the fun part. Can we close one eye? Can we close both eyes? Oh, I'm actually doing pretty well here. <laughs> and then slowly, slowly open your eyes. Ooh, and come back. Release your foot and shake a little bit your legs. Hit your feet against the ground. Shake, 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 shake. In whichever way feels good to you, shake and feel the prana, feel the energy floating. Nice, guys. Now, hands on the hips, close your feet. Inhale, bend the knees and exhale, open up, little step. Twist the right foot over the right side. Make sure that your heels are in line with each other. Trikonasana. Inhale, lengthen your arms. And exhale, start to drop your right hand down in front of your right foot. Or maybe to grab your ankle or maybe to grab your knee. Doesn't matter where you are grabbing. You can also grab a block if it's available to you. The important thing is that we keep creating the sensation of twisting the body by bringing the gaze and the chest high towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And now imagine that from your hips up towards your crown, there's one straight line, and from one hand to the other is another straight line. So Trikonasana is a triangle, so we really want to feel like a triangle, creating these strong lines. Slowly lift yourself back up, coming to your warrior two, Virabhadrasana. Make sure to find the alignment again. Maybe you might want your feet to be a little bit wider apart now. Heels in line with each other, bend the right leg, engage with the core and pull the shoulders away from your ears as much as you can. Stay and breathe. Inhale, swipe the arms up and exhale, come back into warrior. Inhale, swipe the arms up, lengthen both legs. Exhale, back to warrior. Again, inhale, arms up and exhale, back to warrior. Let's go for a reverse to warrior. So we have to bring the body over the back towards our left leg. You can come into a bind, which I showed you before, or I would actually recommend to come here dropping the left arm on the left leg and to feel the right side of the torso twisting. Sorry, uh, stretching. Coming back to center. And now twisting the left foot again, heels in line. Let's come for Trikonasana. Inhale 
exhale, drop your hand, whatever feels good for you, twist the body, open the chest, look up towards your right thumb. And again, imagine these lines from your hips to your crown, from one hand to the other hand. Everything is nice and aligned. Breathe. Looking down, bending gently the knee to lift up into warrior two. Again, maybe we want to create more space in between our feet. Bend the left leg, press, press both heels down the ground. Engage with the core, pull the shoulders away from your ears. Breathe deeply through the nose. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Inhale, swipe the arms up, lengthen the left leg. And exhale, back down into warrior. Inhale to lift back up. And exhale, back to warrior. Inhale, back up. Exhale, warrior two. Flip the left palm over, find your reversed warrior. Lengthening the left side of the body now. You can also relax your head so you can look down or you can look up. Focus on lengthening the upper body sides. Breathe. And coming back to center now, twist and bring both feet facing towards one side, maybe forward. Hands by your hips. Inhale, arch gently your back, look up towards the sky. And when you exhale, lean forward, drop your hands down the ground. And coming into our standing wide leg fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, see if you can fold a little bit more. Again, inhale, look forward, straight spine. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise back up. Exhale, start to bend the left knee gently. Coming back to center, bend the right knee. Inhale up, left knee bends. Inhale up, right knee bends. Just moving a little bit here. Again, focusing on the hips, on our abductors, on our inner thighs. See if you can keep the soles of your feet connected to the ground. Now coming to a Malasana, a yogi squat. Oof, I am sweating a lot. <laughs> so hot in here, guys. But it's good. I mean, I can't complain. Sri Lanka is amazing. Staying into our Malasana. Doesn't matter if your feet can't touch the ground, your heels. Maybe you want to bring like the pillow maybe underneath them, or maybe just keep them a little bit lifted. Whatever feels good for you, you want to focus on gently opening the hips, okay? Flexing the hips, maintaining a straight spine. And now inhale to lift all the way back up. Keep your hands in prayer. Lift your heels as high as you can. Release your hands. See if you can hold it here for three. Pull yourself high for two. Pull yourself high for three. And then slowly drop your heels down, drop your arms down. Hands in prayer in front of the chest. And preparing to the top of the mat. In front of the top of the mat. Arms forward, little bit of a challenge. See if we can bend the knees, suck the tummy in and slowly, slowly, slowly drop the butt all the way down. If we can do this, we're just gonna come and lay down on the back, guys. No worries. We are almost done. It's time to bring some extra relaxation into our practice, the final part of our practice. So grab your knees, bring your thighs towards the chest, and rock your body from side to side. Massaging the lower back, massaging all the muscles, maybe massaging your glutes, and just resting your head on the ground. You might want to grab your knees and just rotate 
your legs towards one direction and towards the other direction. Breathing, 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 relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. Nice, guys. Keeping the knees bent, drop the feet down the ground. Inhale, lift the right leg up and exhale, bring it on top of the left thigh, grabbing the back of the left thigh and pressing gently the feet, the legs, towards the chest. You can keep the left leg straight if you want or you can just completely relax it by keeping it bent. Here we should feel the outer right thigh lengthening and then slowly release. And let's do the same over the left leg. Grab the back of the right thigh and gently press both legs towards you. Now we feel the left outer thigh lengthening. Releasing. Bringing the arms wide open by the sides. Shifting the hips over the left side and dropping the legs over the right side. Right hand can grab the legs to gently press them down and the gaze will be over the left side, so opposite side of your legs. Again, spinal twist, focusing on twisting the body and releasing any sort of tension around the lower back part. Relax your breath. All the pain will go away. Lift up, shift the hips over the right side and drop the feet over the left. This time gaze over the right side. And see if you can relax as much as you can into this pose. There's no need to rush towards anything or anywhere. This is your practice to make you feel more energized, more connected to yourself. Now we're gonna give you, I'm gonna give you some uh, variations. So bring the arms along the body. You can keep your legs down with the butt down sorry, legs up, or you can come all the way up into a shoulder stand, pulling your toes up towards the ceiling, squeezing the glutes, and notice how your chin is connecting to the torso. You can stay, or if you want, you can lower down into a plow position, halasana. Drop your arms or maybe squeeze the shoulders together to interlace the fingers and press the arms down. Maybe you can rest your knees on your forehead. And if you don't want to do any of this because it's a little bit too much for today's flow, you can just stay by lifting your legs up towards the sky and you're gonna completely stay and find stillness to let the blood circulating around your legs in a opposite way going against gravity basically so bringing the energy from the soles of our feet up towards the body if you're in plow slowly slowly see if you can lift back up into shoulder stand and then slowly 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 drop your back down on the ground relax your feet bring your knees to touch Open your legs, sorry, your feet wide apart. And bring one hand to grab, to touch your heart and one to touch your tummy. Focus on the breath just for a few extra seconds. Focus on how your breathing feels right now. If you're in control of it. If you are aware of this beautiful energy that is moving freely and happily, energetically within yourself. 
relax your legs bring your arms over your head and take a full body stretch let's do another one maybe otherwise allow yourself to find your shavasana your final position our flow is over and it's now time to relax the body to relax the mind to relax the breath and to give space to your soul to rise keep relaxing keep bringing peace into yourself and I will now leave you here guys staying in Shavasana for however long you want and I hope to see you again soon for another practice together thank you namaste